welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to go over huntington park huntington park is an area of philadelphia that was featured in my video where we could definitely see more opportunity in philadelphia and huntington park is located in towards the end of north philly and it's right there by by route one now in this video and for this video we're definitely going to take a deep dive look i'm going to show you the roads the schools the park everything that goes on in huntington park and that i may not have touched in my previous video so this is a deep dive video stay tuned okay here we are we're in huntington park right now this is the area and the neighborhood uh which is outlined uh there appears to be several other parts of Huntington Park but anyway here we are um, so for Huntington Park it's a pretty big area uh, we have the obviously it's named after this park right here um, and it is as you can see right here a 10 acre recreation area offering a swimming facility track several sports courts and ball fields now I know there's a pool there but I have never took my kids there to, to swim so but anyway this inside the park it basically you can definitely ride you can definitely ride your car um, through this area normally um, most people use to go through the park as a shortcut to get from this part over so um, so as I was saying in my video in my other video um, my opportunities video there is you know the park you're basically as you can see if you're right here you're basically a block away from Broad Street if you're right here obviously if you're down here you definitely have to walk one two three four <laughs> um, I guess uh, five six seven eight eight blocks but yeah it's like you know but most people you could probably just walk cut right through the park to get to broad street so it's not that far of a walk um this block is pretty big uh but you know as compared to the other blocks in this area uh so there's definitely as you can tell there are a lot of tiny streets as you can see they're pretty narrow and several one-way streets um in this neighborhood um for parking most people park on one side of the street whereas they leave the other you can't park on both sides of the street you have to park on one side uh obviously to get over and down, up and down there's cousin supermarket which is a pretty big supermarket it's a smaller chain um but there that is a main supermarket it's definitely in this area i wouldn't really say the demographics uh however um the demographics in the area is definitely minority we definitely have it's like i'll put in the description the the um the link where you can find out about demographics in this area um there is um the old york road is mainly this road right here takes you up into jenkintown and abington um it runs pretty long uh so as you can tell it just pretty much just kind of keeps going it stops and then it starts back up again um there's erie avenue right on the other side of germantown avenue which is this red line right here that's basically once you cross over that you'll be in nice town tioga um there is they have temple university um right here university hospital and the school of pharmacy right here there's saint christopher's hospital for children which is right in the southeast corner right outside of huntington park area it's mostly in franklinville um and there's also fair hill right here but I, I took my children, I took one of my kids to St. Christopher's, and I like the hospital. It's not bad. 
Uh, the Ronald McDonald House is not too far from this area neither. Um, I think it was actually the first Ronald McDonald House that's ever been built. Um, it was in Philadelphia. It was right around here. Um, so obviously you have the Market L. No, not the Market L. That Broad Street line, which is right here, that takes you right into Center City, um, down Broad Street to the stadiums. And um, there you have several restaurants. You have um, Sierra Cobania um, right there and Casa del, del Mofongo um, and a lot of that's that's um, Latin restaurants in the area um, I know that Huntington Park that's a major route and um, and I believe in Mount in Huntington Park is where if I remember yep act act is the um, is the animal shelter it's the city's municipal animal shelter um, and it's a wonderful place if you're I mean they do TNR um, they do free surgeries for cats and kittens I've done it that was one of my that's one of the things that I've done was to do um, I did in my neighborhood and for a family member, um, you know, I had TNR trap, neutered and returned um, cats into the, um, but I took them to ACT to get their surgeries and then they rest up for about a day. And then they, you know, then I released them. And the good thing about ACT is that you, uh, once, they're, once they're there, um, you could basically take them in and release them as soon as you get them. Um, so you don't have to necessarily hold them in your house. I don't know what they're doing now because in light of COVID, um, <clears throat> I know that they had gotten, the program got really big and a lot of people utilize act that I think that they were extremely, they weren't, they weren't like, they had to end up shutting it down because I think they got really overwhelmed and they had, um, I think they ended up, um, to, um, I should say, how should I say it? Uh, what's the word? They basically like divvied up the work amongst other um, institutions, um, such as I forget the other place. I think it was um, Pals um, Animal Shelter. It's not necessarily an animal shelter, but anyway, whatever. But basically, Act is basically that's the municipal animal shelter. They have dog, they take everything, dogs, cats, kittens, puppies, and you can adopt. You can also foster, sign them to foster, and, you know, if you see a lost animal, you can take them there. Um, but that is our, that's where they are. That's where that is. So there is a lot in Huntington Park area. Um, we do have a lot of, you have the Duncan, you have Taco Bell, um, there's also Porky's Point. I never had them, um, but I'm pretty sure that it's pretty, you know, great for the community. You have Career PA Career Link right here. That's a picture of City Hall. I don't know why they have a picture of City Hall for that because that is not what that building looks like. Um, you have the the 24 hour tire shop. Um, I we go here, my husband and I, we go here to get our tires changed. They're 24 hours. They're great. They're awesome. They have really good rates. You can also get um, used tires here. Um, they're great right there. And we also have, um, where is it? Right here. Oh, no, this is the place. Romana Auto Parts. This is where we go. They're 24 hours. And this 24-hour tire shop is also great. Um right up there you can see it right from the boulevard um we have auto supply there's a lot of auto supply stores here um you have the muffler zone um and they're really small businesses you have a lot of mechanics in this area that's one thing i would say about north philly is that there is a lot of mechanics around the area so if you're broken down somewhere, you best believe you can definitely find an auto mechanic in the area very close by. Um, there is um, there is industrial areas here as well. 
Um, especially in this area, you, you see there's a lot more land to be had, um, but they're basically for industrial um, industrial areas. Um, we have Max Stakes, which I didn't know was in Huntington Park, but it is in Huntington Park. I just figured originally I thought Huntington Park was literally from this park over, was from Broad Street over, um, but I didn't think that it, to be honest, I didn't know that it actually reached down this point of Erie. I didn't know that. If anything, I thought it stopped at Erie. So, but, you know, it is what it is. So, um, so this is Huntington Park. And, I mean, I drive down this area all the time. Um, mainly, I, I would drive down 9th Street and... If I need to get somewhere in this area, I always take Huntington Park Avenue. Um, but yes, these the neighborhood over here is basically real. The streets are extremely small, as you can tell. A lot of one way, annoying one way streets, um, and they're tiny. So, and I drive a big truck, and it's pretty. It's pretty, you know, tough to get. Through. It can, it can, like, I can get through, obviously, but, you know, it's definitely a little bit more anxiety. Um, but yes, uh, in this area, you definitely, there's a lot going on in this area, and you can definitely use some more opportunities in this area. So, there's not a lot, there's small businesses, but not a lot. And you have the police, the Philadelphia Police Department right here. And that's basically it. You have small grocery stores, really small grocery stores. Um, that's where people in the neighborhood mostly shop is the, is the, um, is the grocery stores. Um, where these are grocery stores because they have the type of ingredients that may not be found in like a major chain like an Acme or a ShopRite. Um, they're more ethnic, um, so that, and they definitely fit the demographic of the area. So, regardless, this is Huntington Park. Uh, 